my lips are so dry hi guys welcome back to my channel i know i look crazy okay i'll explain um <laughs> uh, my name is karen and i do um makeup and lifestyle videos um and i also play with cruelty free makeup um if that interests you um hit that subscribe button hit that like button uh hit the dislike button as well if you're not into these videos but as you can tell by the title it's Lisa Eldred. I never ever got anything from Lisa Eldred before. Um, I know she is, uh, she was YouTube, she became a makeup artist, or oh, she was a makeup artist, YouTube creator, and then she's launched her own line. And everyone's been talking about her velvet lipsticks, like velvet matte lipsticks. And I was like, okay, what is this hype about? And she did a restock about last week, I believe it was. And I was like, hmm, I need to get it. And oh my god, it's so expensive because it's obviously luxury. And I was like, do I need it? Should I get it? I didn't get it last year, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna get it this year. And I was thinking about it, and I'm like, since I didn't get anything really for my birthday, I did. Let's let's not let's be honest. I bought a lot of things in October, and I was like, I want something luxury, you know, whatever. So I was like, okay, hey, Lisa Aldre will be my birthday present to myself. I bought a lot of other things, but I didn't do the Sephora friends and family uh, one because I didn't have a discount code. So this kind of makes up for what I was going to buy for Sephora, but I got Lisa Eldred instead, which I think is a good, um, a good way to look at it. That's my way. Anyway, so the makeup I have on right now, I was going to do a video uh, I wanted to do, I wanted to showcase the lipsticks, but since I had to do this, I, this is a challenge for the makeup queens on Instagram. Um, it was Kay that picked it. I can't remember exactly what her Instagram name is, but I will link it down below. Wait, like I will just name it right here. Um, she chose red, ruby red gold and black theme and that's what you have to create i already did a challenge last couple weeks ago i think it was in the summertime where i did teal mustard green and purple plum purple um was it in the summer i think it was like closer to uh, beginning of fall but anyways so this is what she chose and i was like oh i need to do that and then i was like oh the lipstick i should wear will be lisa eldred lipstick and i was like this is perfect so then i'm like okay i'll just do one video um i'm supposed to do a full so i'm supposed to finish my face obviously so then i'll do lip swatches but in the package with lisa eldred you got a foundation card because she's coming out with the foundation which is very exciting because i've been watching videos on people um posting about it posting about the new lipstick shades and stuff and it's very it's not full coverage it's medium i think it's like light medium coverage if i'm correct um or like a medium coverage which is awesome so that's why my face is like i only got my eyes like i literally just did my eye makeup i haven't every fucking time i want to film anyways let's get into the fucking package because yeah i wanted to do i haven't done full i didn't finish my eyes but i will finish the rest of my makeup because i want to try the foundation on then i will go off camera finish off the rest of my face come back and then we will do the lipsticks and then this all will make sense obviously it looks like a hot mess i don't really care i know the red is like whoa i never like i don't think you've seen me with red eyeshadow before but this is what's happening anyways so this is the box and this is the products. I need to do a after video because this is, I can't post. I don't know if someone's gonna like this post, but this is what I got. I never got any of the new shades because they got sold out so fast. I couldn't decide what I wanted. I didn't want to do blush lightly. And then petal wasn't something I was looking into. And then what was another shade? I need to open up the site, but Cinnabar, I was looking at it. I'm like, why the hell did I not get Cinnabar? I don't know why. It would have been such a perfect shade for my skin tone or even darker skin tone. Hold on, let me open up the Lisa Eldridge page if I can. Um. But yeah, it was gorgeous and I was really happy with that. Um, should we talk about Lisa Audrey? 
maybe i will open up the website and then i will talk about her as well because alicia uh the kinky sweat talks to about like it's freaking amazing like she's such an awesome she has a book which is awesome and oh and the other reason why i tried it because it's luxury and it's also a hundred percent cruelty free so i was like this is awesome so i really like luxury brands that do that and then she also has different lip shade like lip colors for all skin tones and like especially her foundation her cards range for 40 shades of the foundation so a makeup artist that does that is fucking amazing because we need that so it talks about lisa so lisa lj is one of the most leading makeup world's leading makeup artists stop i don't want to sign up for anything um and I know she lives in the UK. In October 2015, Lisa published her first book, Face Paint, The Story of Makeup. Um, the book quickly became a New York Times bestseller and now published in nine languages. That's freaking awesome. Um, and then, well, she likes vintage makeup. So she has a lot of collection of uh, vintage makeup. Um, and she, um, she lived and worked in Paris, New York, and L.A., and now she's in London. Um, and she does a lot of celebrities, obviously, as well. Um, you can read about more about it, but she does have a YouTube channel. And she shares her knowledge and experience with her loyal audience who value her advice and recommendations. Those reviews are always her own. She self-funds all her YouTube content and does not accept any sponsored or paid content or any payment to promote any products or brands. Since 2000, she has donated a hundred percent of her YouTube advertising venue around. Oh my God, a hundred thousand pounds. I don't even know how much that is converted into Canadian dollars to charities that focus on female education and health. Okay, I didn't know that, and I just got a whole new respect for her. Oh my fuck, that's awesome. Um, perhaps the next larger step in this. Uh, role call of achievements was for Lisa to create her own brand. In 2018, she launched a limited edition capsule collection of American True Velvet lipsticks. So that's when she people heard about it was 2018, which obviously I heard. I think I heard about it like last year. Um, the reception was so enthusiastic; they sold out in hours. Lisa has expanded the range of colors and formula. Uh, following up with further launches in 2019 and 2020 and readers of Templar voted Lisa Aldridge the best niche beauty brand of 2020. Her groundbreaking new product ranges will be revealed in 2021. And then this just talks about the celebrity clients that she has, which Victoria Beckham's on there. I just scroll down and I'm like, ooh, a Ty Banks is on there. Nicole Kinman. Oh my God. That's a lot of them. I'm not, I'm not going to go through it. And then it talks about different fashion uh, companies as well. So she has a true velvet lipstick, which put her on the map. Um, then she came up with her, I think, was it the gloss and brace lip glosses or was it the highlighter? So yeah, the true velvet lipstick is what came out. And then it's it's supposed to be a velvet texture, but it's matte. Um, and that's why it makes it different because no one has ever come up with a velvet matte lipstick before. So apparently it's really comfortable. So I haven't tried it. So this is my first time trying it. So this is going to be exciting. She came out with the gloss uh, embrace lip glosses, which I think came out last year. And then she came out with her enhanced and defined lip pencils. They were in a bundle pack that you had to buy the lipsticks and then you got the lip, uh, lip liner. Um, but now all of the colors, almost all the colors, I think all the colors are available now. So you could buy them individually. And then she has the elevated glow highlighters, which I do not have. So I'm not, I'm not going to go. I thought she had blushes too. Didn't she not have blushes? Is that like a one-time thing? I don't know. Um, so let's talk about, yes. And then she sneak peek what her next thing was. And that was foundation. And it was so nice because when you bought over, like you got free delivery or whatever. I don't think you even get free delivery because it's in the UK. But if you spend over a certain amount, you got um, the card of the foundation. Um, so I have them in US dollars. Obviously, it's way more than Canadian dollars. Um, obviously, if it's in pounds, you could 
look at that as well so i got a lipstick the velvet lipstick i got uh one of the lip pencils and i got the lip gloss just because i wanted to try all different three formulas two of them are the same shade and then one of them is a different shade which kelly from keep beauty will help me with that i could not decide it, it was her and also lexi from lexi i'll put i'll put their um instagrams down and um, sorry and the youtube because they're freaking awesome because i was looking at their videos and i was like i can't decide on what to get and it launched and i was like i don't know what to get i don't know what color to do and i was looking at the blush shade because it's the best seller one and i was like oh but i always have so many pinks and purple like pinky shades because i already have like this is my natural lip color kind of dry because i did lip swatches yesterday but it's okay Lisa eldridge apparently have very nourishing lip products so anyways so i yeah so i was like i always do pinky you know pinky sh tones or like a pinky mauve or whatever right and then i was like i don't want to do a nude and then everyone's like, uh, then i was thinking of getting the shade dragon but i only wear it the fall time so i need a shade and then, and then i think kelly's like why don't you get cinnabar and at that time cinnabar was sold out so these are not new obviously these are from last year <laughs> so um, this is my first expression. I'm sorry I didn't get the new shades, but literally got sold out. And I was like trying to limit of how what I wanted. And I'm like, I can't spend too much. Like I'm not spending five hundred dollars on this, you know. And especially if shipping to Canada, it costs more. And then also the duties on top of that. And I was like, oh my god, this is not like a hundred something. This is way more. But they're here. <laughs> Here they are. I took them out of the boxes, obviously, to take pictures. But this is what they came in. So the velvet lipstick came in this. And then I got the shade Velvet Myth. I know. It's a red shade. I'm really excited. And then I got the gloss in, um, embrace. And I got that in beauty. Thank you to Kelly to help me. And then the lip pencil came in this box. So why are these washing out? But like her logo is so freaking cute. So let's get the box. Oliver wants to lie right here. So this is the box. Are we going to do the foundation first? Um, so that way I can finish up the rest of my face. So I don't look like this. Um, and then we will come back and do the lips. How's that? I could do swatches right now. It's up to you what you want to do. If you want to see this, you want to keep looking at this face, that's fine. So let's just swatch. Why don't we do swatches now? of the seamless skin foundation my nose is so itchy right now and i don't have makeup on so let's just swatch that um and then we'll do swatches of the lip products and then yeah i'm so excited oh my god all right that's the box away all right so this is what i got if you want to buy any of these cards they are on uh, like they're on the website i think it's two dollars American at three dollars Canadian, something like that. I got this. I'm hoping this is my shade range. I'm hoping. I don't know. I'm gonna do. I was gonna do on my forearm, but I'm actually still tan from the summer a little bit. So I'm gonna actually do on my inner arm, and then I'm gonna kind of do like a face one as well. I think I should just do the face one, but I will show you on my arm as well. I put a long sleeve. I always do this, so I moved it up. So hopefully that helps. So um let's see let's do you is there a way to open this okay let's talk about the foundation let's talk about it here oh here we go all right so this italianji format is self-setting foundation blends effortlessly to smooth and unfine skin with a natural look natural looking soft focus finish the skin friendly formula gives customary middle medium coverage that fuses seamlessly with your skin Start with a little and then and build to your desired level of enhanced perfection. I'm not going to use a sponge. I'm going to actually use a brush. I don't think it tells you how to, like, I don't think she has a way of doing it. I didn't watch this video. I watched her video of all her lipstick, new lipstick she, she came up with. And then I regret not getting some bar. I'm going to keep talking about that. I'm very sour about that. I don't know why I never got it. It's like the perfect shade. Like, I swear to God, it's like that perfect shade i'm just gonna drink this as well mm. this kind of looks like her logo right guys and i love her logo by the way it's so cute 
um but yeah it kind of looks like her logo but i think this is on the opposite side or something i think that's no it's on the no it's on the opposite side and then this is more marilyn monroe i thought that's what she went with i don't know hmm i gotta look at him that's more marilyn monroe but anyways so we are going to start i guess it's because the l goes there so it would be weird if there's a dot by the l i guess so i don't know i'm not gonna question it maybe if she talks to me i could get more info but yeah so this is my crazy eye look there's something funky going on here we're not going to talk about that but yeah so these are the shades so i have medium set one and this medium set too so it's really nice that they have light two different like sets and then go from there um i will pull up the little card thing i don't have that card thing right now but i'll pull that up does it does it show you where they are i'm trying to see if i could find it maybe it's not here oh yeah it's right here the foundation one um she does have a video on her website so if you go to i'll write the um website down by uh, you could find it so the first mediums one medium set one medium 17 so number 17 is medium with golden olive undertones so we're gonna open that guy up i don't know i'm hoping i'm number i don't know now 19 i think it was because of neutral undertones but we will find out because who knows i'm so scared i'm gonna spill this maybe it might be number 17 i don't know okay so i'm just gonna take oh my god this is getting messy already <laughs> i haven't even started Hold on. okay so this is number 17 that's what that looks like i'm gonna swatch it on this should we swatch it on this side maybe i'll swatch it on this side so 17 that's what 17 looks like it looks like concealer so i'm gonna put it over here that's what that looks like okay and then if you blend it in maybe i'm number 17. Ooh, that blends in nicely why do you think i was a lighter than that okay hold on I'm just gonna put it on my inner form. So that was number 17. It looked like it blended really nicely. And number 17 was medium. I think I already said it, but let's do that again. Medium with golden olive undertones. I don't know, it's a golden olive, but sure. All right, number 18. Number 18 is medium with golden undertones. I feel like this is my summer shade okay so that one is gonna be right here that's what that looks like okay base swatch and then go up higher okay and then if i blend it in See, that color could work too. What do you guys think? Okay. We are just going to wipe these off and then maybe find my shade. We go from there. Oh, and then I should just put it on my inner forearm as well. That's what that looks like. Don't mind the cat scratch. Number 19. This is the one I thought I was going to be. I don't know. Cause just because of the neutral uh, undertones. So this is medium with neutral undertones. So this is the one I thought I was going to be. I don't think I'm a rosy red undertone though. So one sample card is free with any purchase. And additional cards are $3. So yeah. You could still I think buy stuff. I think there's still some stuff. Like obviously the new shades. There's nothing left. Everyone bought everything um but there's still um some other like the lip glosses if you want so then this is number 19 
So that's what that looks like. And then swatch it on this side. Jenny Moore. Really? No. Nope. Wrong one. You like some of my lip swatches from yesterday? So that's what that looks like. See, that's why maybe I'm this color in the summer. I don't know. Okay, let's do a face swatch. Okay. It's gone. Like, how do you, like, am I like all these colors? All right, and then number 20 is the one that is the medium with the rosy undertone, right? Yeah, rosy, rosy red undertone, sorry. I need to pick up this color, but we're going to go with it. Okay, there's that one, the inside of my arm. And then swatch it on the face. So we're gonna go up here. Okay, and let's blend. Guys, why are these almost the same? Is it because I'm a neutral? Like, seriously, like all of them work. I don't understand. What is this magic? All right. Like against my skin, obviously this looks like this is it. And this is like my Rome shade right here, which was number 19, which I thought was gonna be my shade, but sure. And then if you look at my inner arm, Oh my god, I need to stand up for this. And if you look at my inner arm, this is what it looks like. Like this is my shade and then this would be my summer shade or something. And then on my face, I thought it was number 18. 17. 17? 18 and then 19 and then 20. Do you guys see a difference? I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. This is not swatching the way I plan it. You know what? We are going to um, stop the video for a second so I could wipe my freaking face down. Um, and I'm going to take video uh, pictures of these shades. Um, and then we can go from there because I don't know what's happening. I think I'm just going to go with, what color was it? 17? Then I'm going to go with 19. I don't know. Because 17 looks like it's fine. And then I think, yeah, because when it dries down, it's very dark, the 19. So we can go with 17. And if I'm too light, we can always bronze up. It's not a big deal. Um, but like over here, as you can see, this is like a perfect match. But then this is darker. Um, and then this is too pink. So on this side, this is really warm. That's pink. So these two obviously we're eliminating, but it's these two. So I'm guessing I am 17 in the summer. I'm mean, sorry, 17 in my regular shade, and then 19 in the in the summertime if I get darker. And then if we switch this over, which I can't do that, we switch this over. You see it kind of drying off there, and you see more of. It, like this is like the perfect match so we are going to pause this video I'm gonna wipe down my face right here where I had I mean I was swatching on my face and we go from there but this is what it looks like on this side so 1920 you guys can see it like when you blend it you could really tell the 1718 was up here I don't know if you guys could tell but that's what that looks like right now so we'll be right back Alright guys, so I used my Sigma tapered 
uh, kombuki brush, the F86. Um, and I use that to apply it. I pretty much finished the whole package ish. It's a little bit left. Um, I thought I was gonna have more, but apparently not. Um, obviously the brush picks up way more than um the sponge, but I noticed when I was just going around blending, I really like how it looks. This is what I like. I don't like like too much coverage. As you can see, um, I'm gonna bronze and it's gonna roam up my skin more but it's pretty much matching right down here too like my neckline and stuff so I feel like this is the perfect shade for me and obviously if at uh, the summer I will go for like the 19 because I think um just how warm it was I, I took out my swatches because I can't reference to them but I'm gonna go off camera and yes I was dancing while well, I I do makeup when I listen to music while I'm Doing my makeup, I usually dance. But anyways, I'm going to go off and then finish up. But uh, I'm really liking the coverage. It looks like my skin, but like obviously better. I'm probably really good skin day. Um, but as you can see, um, it's not doing full coverage on my little spots here. But it's covering up a little bit. So it, that's why it was meant to be. It's not supposed to be like full on um Full coverage but I like how it feels it doesn't feel too sticky like it feels really nice actually like it feels like I'm not wearing anything so that's really nice so I most likely might pick up this foundation when it comes out <laughs> but I'm gonna finish my makeup and I'm gonna be right back okay I just threw on some earrings some jewelry I don't know how I feel about this necklace but this is what it looks like um and then this is my eye look well it's not about the eye but the foundation looks amazing as you can see blended really nicely all right so let's move on to the lip stuff so this is lisa eldred's um lipstick so this is the gloss embrace um in beauty so that's what it looks like there's her logo and then this is what it looks like so we're gonna try the gloss on first and apparently i can't open it I'm going to list that on what I'm wearing on my face down below just because this is about Lisa Aldred, not what I'm wearing kind of thing. Just, you know, there we go. I don't know, but my hair just finished drying. So, yeah. So, we're going to put this on. My lips are so dry. Ooh. Oh, my God. This feels good. The color is bright, but I like how it gives that punch. There you go. So that is in beauty. All right, so it's very, oh my God, comfortable. And I was reading about the lip glosses. So let me just open it up. But I was reading about what they have in there. Um... Uh, let's see. So the gloss and lip care hydrate with key lip care ingredients include wild mango, kernel butter, acai baby oil, sunflower seed oil, and vitamin E oil. So this is supposed to be non-sticky. A uh, veil of color. Um, yeah, it just has uh, oils and butters in it. So it's nice that it gives you that color. I wish I got this in cinema. <laughs> But it looks like a lipstick, but it has that shiny effect to it, which I love because I love lip glosses. So we're going to take that off and we're going to start with the lipstick. So I'm going to actually, I know when I was watching Lisa, sorry about the noise. When I was watching Lisa, she did the lipstick first and then she put the lip liner on. And she said that the way to do it is, is that then you could define your lip instead of doing the lip liner first. Because I always do my lip liner first and then do it. So I think I'm going to do it the way that she said. And I'm going to see how that works out. Because, yeah. Yeah, so I'm going to see how that works out. Because I want to see if that makes a big difference. Uh, I'm trying to be gentle because of the foundation. But yeah, I'll grab my foundation brush just to... There we go. Um, but yeah. So I'm going to try that. So this is what the lipstick looks like. It's the initial right on top with that gold nice. 
is this gold brass i don't know but it's very pretty i like how this is my jewelry and my eye makeup matches um and apparently it has a magnetic closure so cool and it's nice size it's it's a little heavy but it's not too heavy and it's so pretty and then when you open it i don't know if you can see it but i haven't swatched it but i don't know if you can see the velvet but oh my god this color i don't know this gives me the vintage vibe for sure i don't know if you're gonna see the velvet texture i don't know if my camera's gonna pick it up but it's freaking gorgeous and then applying a lot of people have been pulling a lot from the bullet so that's the top part of it so when applying it make sure you don't put too much out because it's been breaking so i don't want it to break but this is the color velvet myth god i'm so excited Whew. oh my god my lips are so dry i was making a bag vaseline or something oh my god guys it's so pretty Besides my lips being so chapped. Oh, maybe I have to get close-ups. Why did I do lip swatches yesterday? Oh, I forgot to swatch them on my hand. Oh my god. Well, that's what it looks like. Let me get the lip liner on and then we will do swatches on my hand. So this is the lip liner. Same way. Got the logo. So pretty. Ooh. And I think it's... No, it's the sharpening one. So it's not the one that way you push at the bottom and it pulls out so you have to sharpen it which kind of sucks because you can get rid of the beautiful writing on there so then she lined her lips afterwards so i'm just gonna quickly do that all right so i just lined my outside lips um and that's what it looks like oh my god i am in love <laughs> i'm so happy about this color I don't really go for reds but this is not like your bright red this is like more of like a blue tone but it's gorgeous so let's why don't we do swatches so this is the lip liner in the same color so this is velvet um myth it's like this deep color so pretty and then we have the lipstick i'm not gonna pull that much out because i don't want to break it and of course that's where my scratch is Actually, I'm going to put it right here beside that one. Oh my god, this is so pretty. It's like, it looks red, but then it also looks like the raspberry color, but oh, it's so gorgeous. And then I'm going to also put the lip gloss. So this is beauty. You could top this up as well, like, you know, like you don't have to have it, you know, but like, look at the shades of that. Like all of that. Isn't that pretty? Here's the close up. But yeah, I'm like even putting beauty on top of this lip color would be fire. But I'm not gonna do that right now because I kind of want to get pictures in <laughs> of this because the red eye. Okay, this is something that you shouldn't do, but whatever, it's your makeup look. But obviously, like if you want like a bold, that deep red color god it's so pretty like i feel very vintage with this color it's not like the bright red it's more like you know that red red i don't know can i make my lips fuller I make them bigger but yeah so the reason i got the lip liner to go with it is because the red <laughs> they bleed easily so yeah so that's why i went with that but yeah you can make you could get your lip liner and then make your lips look bigger if you want but oh my god this is Oh my god, it feels really nice actually. Besides my lips being dry, because you can see right there, it's cracked. That has nothing to do with the lipstick, because that's my lips. But oh my god, this feels actually pretty amazing, formula-wise. Oh my god, I can't. It's really gorgeous. I wish I should have put something on before I put the lipstick on. But yeah, that's what it looks like. And it's unbelievably soft. Um... And the lip liner is long lasting. So if you put the lip liner at the bottom and then do the lips on top, you could do that too. I just did it the way that uh, Lisa Eldred wanted, just so you could line the lips. But either way, it works. Um, and then you could just wear the lip liner on its own if you wanted, or you could pair up with a lip, uh, lipstick. And then uh, lip gloss on top of that if you wanted to put the beauty shade on. But that looks really nice. 
all her shades of her lipsticks almost go together like i feel like this could be with like blush like beauty and blush could go together which seems like it would be such a good combination but yeah um that is it sorry <laughs> yeah that is it for the review hopefully you guys like this here's the close-up again <music> obviously the foundation as well uh, i'm really impressed with this it is worth the money um obviously you don't have to run and grab them or um but they have these in stock right now i don't know if they still do but they still have some colors in stock and it's something to invest in and like if it's too expensive for you i'm not saying go out and grab it hopefully i don't have the snow in my teeth i don't i uh, don't go out and grab it like right away um you know save your money and then get get it when you want um i'm not sure if they're having a black friday sale because she's in the uk but yeah this is oh my god i'm so impressed <laughs> i can't stop looking at my lips and they look amazing i know red lipstick i don't know why i don't wear that much red but i look really good on red i know um, so hopefully you like this video, give it a thumbs up if you haven't, um, hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed, um, hit the bell notification so you're notified every time I put up, um, my video and also follow me on Instagram, um, and also Twitter if you guys have that. I post a lot of things on my Instagram, uh, Twitter, I'm not really that active, but yeah, uh, uh, hopefully this video helped um but like i said these are not the new shades um and if you have any further questions or anything feel free to drop it down or if you have a list of aldrid purchase already or you purchased something this time around or last year whatever what's your favorite lipstick or oh, lip gloss lip liner <laughs> um comment down below and also i'll see you guys next time have a nice day i thank you for joining me and stay safe and be kind bye